I still remember when Uriah first woke me up. Her smile, her kindness. He reminded me so much of Alinea. But all that has faded away with time. So much time has passed since she brought me back to life. She still assures me she will bring new life to Irgia when the time comes, as her role as the Guardian of Life demands. She is supposed to keep our worlds on track to facilitate our progress. Many pages are missing or seriously damaged. Argon's writing often becomes incoherent and meaningless as well, and some passages are not written in the common script. Trying to make sense of this journal will be exceptionally difficult. I sorely miss the light of my soul, the elf to whom I devoted my life in Erdia. I tried to find her and failed, and the seer will not respond to my inquiries. In fact, the seer does not respond to anyone but Uriah herself. But Uriah has different plans for me. She says locating Elinia is not important right now, and that I must deal with the barbarians in the Great Desert first to begin the process. What process, I ask? What is the point of building a civilization from the scum left after the fall? Uriah could enter Irgia with ease if she so desired. She could then find the seed of Earth, initiate a new cycle, and wait countless eons. She says she knows an alternative, but first she requires my support. It's hard to make sense of his ramblings. In some passages, he describes Uriah as a beautiful creature, in others, as a hideous monster whose cause he laments serving. Was it the pain caused by his new body that numbed his region, reason, or the damage Uriah inflicted on his soul by using him as her voice? The voice, the seer, and the shadow. And as soon as we find Elinia, there will be four, and four will spread our message of life to the other worlds. Episode 3, Scenario 4, Outpost of Hell. Aaron Balgur is really impressive. How could it fall to Uriah's forces? Some people say the Lord of the Stronghold was brutally killed by the Chaos Thugs on the battlefield sometime after their empire fell. The man left in charge in his place wasn't very bright and couldn't stand a chance when the angry enemy troops arrived. Others say they found the descendant of the architect who helped build its walls a century ago and forced him to reveal the plans with all the secret passages and weak points. Regardless of the rumours, the fact is they killed everyone. See the stains on the exterior walls? Everyone says it's the blood of the former occupants. Some believe that the general's family was among them. I guess that explains why he's such an unpleasant person. Oh come on, life drama doesn't necessarily make you an absolute... A hole. I hope everyone is ready for the battle ahead of us. We are, my lady. What are your orders? Just assist our allies with the siege, and deal with whatever creatures guard the keep and the rumoured portal. We ought to make this quick, for the demoness that awaits us at the other end might not be too patient, and this mission has delayed us too much already. You haven't changed your mind. Indeed. Not. <laughs> I don't like that sound. Neither do I. Okay. So, in this scenario, most units under your control can carry barrels of explosives, which can be used to destroy structures and other units. To get a barrel, move a unit over it. You'll be given the choice to grab the barrel or leave it for another unit. Once a unit gets the barrel, it will gain the demolition ability, allowing it to destroy everything within a one hex radius upon death. The unit will also be able to drop the barrel for another unit to pick up, or deploy an activated charge. Once a barrel is deployed, it will destroy everything within a one hex radius at the start of the next first player turn, so you want to make sure your unit has enough movement points left to get away before deploying. Units lose the demolition ability after dropping or deploying barrels. Use these barrels wisely. You will start with a limited number and you will need at least six to complete the main objective. Okay, I'm going to destroy the six structures supporting the central keep. I have to secure the portal located within the central keep. And if I can defeat all enemy leaders, I will get a bonus. Okay, Anya, Alinea, Anya, Durvan, Aurelian all have to survive. If I run out of barrels of explosives, I will also lose. 
Um, and has an early finish bonus, but only if I can defeat all the enemy leaders. So, let's see how we go. Okay, on the left-hand side, we've got Horo and Kiara serving General Bardil. We managed to not get into any fights last time. General Bardil... Um, you've got a loyal wolf rider who's got some experience at least. Um, but the rest of my... the rest of the t I didn't have much success in leveling up troops for General Bardil. And he's got five barrels of explosives. And down here we've got a green leader, Gut Wrencher Imp. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill you. Um, random Armageddon Imp down here. Lots of uh, drones floating about the place, more Armageddon Imps. I mean, these guys are supposed to be. Wow, I mean, I remember when these guys were like special boss units, now they're just everywhere. Okay. There is an orange leader. There is a. What looks, looks like a white leader down here. Meryl Ben, there is a brown leader at the bottom right. Don't like brown, it's hard to see on the map. Up here we've got Shergrel, the Demon Warrior. Um, and here we've got Mal Arazul, the Chaos Lord Keeper. How much gold are these collective losers got? We can't see, but what we can see is that there are, in fact, Six enemy players plus the mysterious blue. Oh, all right. So these are the things that I have to destroy, and I can only destroy them using barrels because they've got a ton of health and they regenerate. How many barrels have I got up here? Only four. Okay, so I've got nine barrels. Um, so neither player can do it on their own. That's interesting. Okay, this looks like it might be our most challenging scenario yet. Should we see if we can rush Shergrill with units? What's the worst that can happen? Maybe he'll even come out and attack Anya this turn and get himself killed. That would be beautiful if that happened. Alright, so... Um, I've got a bunch of lovely loyal units that I can recall now. Four, in fact. Oh no, five! But I'm gonna have to also keep some money back so that I can use, so that I can... So that I can use the barrels with units who I don't mind dying. It's probably best if they're killed by footpads, carried by footpads. Alright, this is a good squad, and I'll get my first footpad. Get some practice with these barrels. Bring Alinea out, just in case. There's a ring there. Any other magical items knocking around? Doesn't look like it. I haven't given Anya or Alinea any up item upgrades, so I've mostly lumped them onto Durban. Oh, and there's that one skeleton who's got a, an upgrade as well, I've got to not forget about him. I, I, it might not be the best idea to, to recruit lots of skeletons in this scenario, we'll see what the enemy brings. But first... It is time. At last, I'll have my revenge. And what about us? You too shall be allowed to leave once the battle is over. That is, assuming you survive. What if we lose? Should it come to that, you'd best hope those fiends will be swift to end your pitiful lives. Ah, oh, you gotta add the pitiful in there. <laughs> Bardil, what a lovely man. That's truly motivating. Okay. Bardil, Horror, and Kiara, everyone has to flip and survive in a scenario where, like, gunpowder suicide appears to be the uh, the order of the day.
Let's just check that help text again. Okay, everything on a one hex radius will be destroyed by the barrel, so I need to get them right up next to the structures. Level 3 war drone floating around, a few enforcer drones as well. Okay, who have I got to recall? Um, only rubbish, basically. Um, these guys are definitely not worth it. They were the people who were tanking. Um, you're not worth it either with 11 experience. Um, you're the only one who's worth it. So I'm going to recruit a bunch of spammy, spammy trash to run forward and be spammy, spammy trash. Orcish grunts are cheap and powerful. A couple of archers, because they're always good. I think I'm going to mostly use orcs rather than Araguethi. Can Is there any villages that you can run and grab? Four turns, bar. That's probably the best one, though. Well, no, because the purple leader will be on me before that. I'll try it. Oh, I'll have some assassins. I maybe said I wasn't going to go for many Araguaiti, but the spearmen are pretty good. And maybe one. I can't get witches, so I can't heal. So just another spearman. For now, heh, you could go. You could go straight in, start shooting this gut wrencher in. Could you actually kill him? No, just do a ton of damage. Not worth it, especially since, I mean, blocking one of his recruitment squares is not a bad idea. But he could also just kill me. Yeah, if he hits with all, with yeah, if he hits with most of his attacks, he would kill me, and he's a sixty percent chance. So yeah. Could, could grab this this house just to be irritating. That's not going to aggro any super fast drones anywhere, is it? No, good. Oh, we got chaos dogs. <laughs> when the leader does come out. And does take some damage. Now oh, we got those irritating shooty gun people. All right, I think skeletons will probably be the order of the day to deal, deal with that. And the leader does doesn't unfortunately come out of his shack. Normal demons. Durvan, what are you gonna do after this is over? You said earlier you had some doubts about Alinea's plan, and you. Yes, I won't be going with you. Her plan just seems too risky. What the hell is she thinking? Didn't you say Aloran himself knew his kinsman couldn't be trusted? Besides, I won't be very useful once you arrive there. From what I've heard, the natives hate us, and motivating and talking to people is really all I've done since I joined Alinea. But... You two and the necromancer woman have all those magic abilities and powers I will never have. I'm tired of risking my life fighting alongside you against powerful demons and psychotic cultists. I just I just want to live a longer life than the other human Elenia got killed in enemy territory, the poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, but you were really brave in the valley. I was really stupid. I hadn't heard of that guy and his fate yet. Talking about um, Arathan, who uh, who does not end well, regardless of the scenario, I guess. All right, so I can form a defensive line, and when it gets to night time, hopefully I'll have some undead coming out, because uh, the only unit here that's threatening to undead is this invoker. Everything else here will get slaughtered by hordes of skeletons. Hmm. You could go and find out what this ring does, but at the cost of Anya being 
very much isolated. Yeah, not worth it. Back to the forest then. Come on, try your luck against Durban. Okay, you go grab a barrel. Just pick up the barrel. Okay, this is now a demolition footpad, got to remember that. Get my revenants. Actually, he can he's not gonna be at the front. Maybe a walking corpse or two, or a vampire bat to go and fly around grabbing villages. But there's not that many villages to grab, unfortunately, at least not ones that are out of that are out of range. Alright, looks good. And I've still got some gold left. I mean, if this is like a normal scenario, it's going to be difficult for me to, you know, the the enemy players are just going to head straight for me. It's going to be very difficult for me to not just, well, def go and defeat them. Um, you and you, I think I'm going to have to defeat anyway in order to get by. Um, I guess these guys at the very bottom, especially you. What the hell is that? Valdemon Basher. Okay, you got a ramming, stunning attack. And there's some dogs. Let's hope you guys have run out of money. Still doesn't tell me how much money they have. Hmm. Alright. No other than this invoker who may be tempted to hopefully try his chances. Everyone's out of range, which is nice. And we can hold a line along here. I think that's probably the best plan. No one's going to pick up any, any more barrels of explosives just yet, and this footpad's going to keep well out of the way. I mean, I guess if, if things go really to shit, I can start using these barrels to uh, blow up the enemy units, but I'd rather it not come to that. One thing that's interesting about part three of, um, of this campaign is that you really get into situations where you're just fighting a mass pitched battle against many, many enemies. There are very few scenarios in Invasion from the Unknown and in parts one to two of After the Storm that are like that. Um, so this feels much more epic in scope, but the downside is it makes the scenarios a lot slower to play, and that means it's also a lot slower to make videos of them. I still think I will miss you, even if you only rarely start a conversation, and I'm sure Alinea will miss you as well. Sure. Okay, now, if I remember rightly, you've got the disengage ability, which means that if you don't move before attacking, you will retain your movement points after the attack. Hmm. So. Let's deal up to 50 damage. A perfect 50 damage. It's almost a shame to run away, but uh, run away we will, because there are dogs on the loose, and I'm going to have to block. Only the dogs can reach this square. Can anyone else reach? Put horror on the front lines. Um, those dogs will get absolutely creamed if they try and fight him. You know, normally I wouldn't uh, risk a hero, but that, he's so powerful compared to anyone else that uh, it's really not much of a risk. Um, 
you I guess will go and heal. But it'll take you it'll take you many, many turns to get up to the health. I mean, at least one turn for every hit that you got dealt. So it's tempting just to flood forward with these spammy orcs and get rid of this player. Given that he might go down here. Well, let's wait and see what the dogs do first. Doggy do. Everyone's life is based on the fate of dog do. You can be attacked by dogs as well if you really want, and uh, also by a ghost. I'll put you in the forest. Actually, hmm. Now that I've put... I mean, you can only... You've only got one option. I guess you won't be... You probably won't be that much of a dumbass, will you? Shame. Okay, um, I'm not actually going to rec recruit anything else with Bardil this turn. Going to hang on to that gold, wait for it to accumulate a bit. Going to stick Bardil here so that uh, Oro gets some leadership off him. And then I will leave that there. I wish you to all the luck in the world. You'll surely need it. You're not going anywhere yet, Durvin. I need you to lure out that invoker first. They're not they're not coming out. Interesting, they're just gonna stand next to my dog friend. My dog friend. Poor old horror, I don't call him that. My orc friend. Green's run out of gold. So is black. Okay, so there's not a terrifying number. Oh, there's another barrel down there. Remember that. And grab that if everything goes pear shaped. Ground's run out of gold. The only person who doesn't seem to have done yet is purple, but purple has a slightly smaller base than the others, so maybe purple has actually run out as well. They all recruit 9 to 10 units. There we go. Oh, oh, no, orange hasn't run out either. Maybe orange and white have a bit more in the way of gold. Okay, so I guess the first 15 turns or so, a white doesn't... Oh, whoa! Okay. Teal is recruiting random units as well. Well, that's not so much recruiting as having spawned... Okay, I mean, these units, these they've, they've left themselves in such an utterly stupid <laughs> tactical configuration that it's tempting to just go all in with my powerful units who've just come out. Um, at least these two at the front, I ought to just whack them. Okay, you fail to get any good slow damage and take two shots to the face, but fortunately that's not very effective against you for some reason. I think maybe it was that Amber Ward that I picked up earlier in the campaign, because it says you've got 0% pierce resistance, but that's clearly not true, even though it's the daytime. Oh, you're only level 1! Well, that helps to explain it. It's hard to distinguish the level 1 from the level 2 version of this unit. Alright, now you... Notwithstanding being punched for one damage. How far can you reach? You can't reach, you can't reach, you can't reach. You and you can reach. slightly the more effective option. Effortless kill. Now you're going to get shot twice, but that's fine because 
you've, I think, also got... Oh no, no pierce defense. Just a small amount of blade defense. Right, you guys stay in the woods. Undead can come out. You come back here. I mean, you guys could choose to melee Avathan and get yourself killed, but... I mean, that honestly, that's on you if you do that. feel like I need more units than this to hold against this army for now, and I don't want to press forward until the initial wave has been exhausted. So I think I'm going to have a turn without recruitment. Even bring Elenia out in case someone attacks Irelian to give her some health. Got a ton of villagers back here, that's nice shouldn't lose those, so I shouldn't lose any income. Alright, poor old Kiara is looking sorely grieved, but she's done her work, so she can run away to the very back of the map. Not taking any chances in case any skirmishes come. Now, unfortunately none of these units are remotely good at taking out ghosts, the best option I've got is an orcish archer. Um, but let's first try and get rid of these dogs. You're strong in intelligence, so two hits ought to do it. <laughs> yep, didn't even need the Berserk ability. Okay, and then... Horro. <laughs> get a dog kill, and now... I can send Bardil around to give you guys some leadership so that you won't suck as much as you otherwise would during the night, during the day. Okay, the ghost is down, and if I move... You've, you're, you are where you are, so get you out of the way, stick you there so that you have an option to shoot. What you'll definitely do is shoot this guy off, so... Um, but green is looking like already a pretty much a spent force, which is good. Can't recruit this turn with... oops... with Bardil, but that's fine. You're too slow to reach anyone. Actually, do you want to do you want to get some uh, some poison action? Why not? I'll, I'll put you there. Heh heh. Now you could come in and try and zap my archer, my assassin, but you just try it. You just try it. These guys are all slow, except this assassin. Stay out of range. Well, good, and you can uh, swoop down on that village next time if there's no one else in range of it, which there probably will be, but we'll see where Purple decides to move his units. His or her, Malarazul. Now you're a bit cheeky, you you know, being called Mal when you're not a necromancer, but uh, maybe you've got hidden talents. I hope not. You're not summoning undead. You're summoning the most random stuff. Young ogres, saurians, orcs. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're a, an esoteric, mate. Oh, so predictable. Another ghost for us to slaughter. I'm flipping glad I got these orcish archers. I wasn't thinking of it. Purple's coming in with his own orcish archers. They're not so effective against my units. Now Purple's kind of splitting his forces, scattering them around. Oh. 
shoot my swordsman in the face a couple of times. And it looks like black is almost dead. As light, light green is. Some razor birds, and I guess these aren't the kind that just randomly fly around the map, they probably work for the enemy players. Orange is sending some troops north, which is irritating, because if I wanted to swoop down onto green, it's going to take me a couple of turns to get there. Poor old green. <laughs> I guess if I got really, really lucky... Nah, no, that wouldn't have worked. What's that thing in the south? Some sort of stone dragon monster thingy? going towards Bardil's troops. Well, now that it's the daytime, these undead are doing... these these chaos gunners are doing absolutely nothing. Now you two are too slow, but you can reach that village, which is annoying. Yet so can you. Uh, you guys are all too slow, so maybe I'll wait one more turn before grabbing that. Ah, oh, we need to step back to be out of range of this as as in Why are you going that way? <laughs> Maybe you just want to get away from the slaughter. Bring it. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to start cleaning up from the right-hand side. So you come in, do the berserk thing. Okay, you've got these units that have Berserk, don't need Berserk, because they are powerful enough as it is. You got a bit badly whammied last turn, so... Oh, that was more hits than I'd have liked to take. And obviously your experience of being shot in the face has uh, somewhat uh, affected your adversely affected your attitude to risk. That's understandable. Now you're in range. Ooh, you're in range of the of the boss man. Got to be careful. Try and stick some expendable undeads in their way. So I don't want to advance too much from this position. I think. Advancing to go and take out this. Try and take out this Chaos Invader is probably not the worst decision. Okay. Um. Oh dear, Durvan. Not strong, not strong at all. Do I go in with a leadership guy and a skeleton? That could work. I probably won't kill this guy though, which is what I'm really what I really would like to be able to do. None of these guys, none of these archers can get around. The only unit that's guaranteed to get the kill is pretty much a linear. Um, actually, even she's not guaranteed, but maybe she should come out and... I guess I'm just going to go aggressive. Shot in the face, but does get the kill. Now my undead are too slow to do anything else. Shied could go there and get attacked by these three. See what Alinea can do from the woods. Uh, Anya. Not much. Good. Alright. What? 
But how? Shapeshifters. They are somewhat different to other demons in that the more mature individuals are much harder to kill without arcane magic than the rest. It's said they are basically extinct, but some demon lords still keep them as slaves. How do you know that? Well, Eloran did tell me a lot of things about them. Okay, so that's now a level 2 unit that's just appeared in my life. I wish I hadn't killed this guy. Previously he was a slowed, in, slowed invader, now he's a flipping shape-shifting asshole. Okay, well, I'm going to stick a skeleton archer here to defend. I'll put you behind to give that guy some whammy. You come out there. You come out here. Everyone go, go, go. Uh, except you. <laughs> you stay where you are and continue costing me money for no reason. Okay, all of the Chaos Troops, and, and might have misjudged a bit putting a linear here. Um, I guess only if the leader comes out am I really worried. And even then, we'll see. This is what annoys me though, this flip and shapeshifter, and they've got backstab, so... If someone goes around, if you, you're the only one who can. If you go around the back of Anya, you could get a backstabbing. But I don't think the enemy players are going to be that coordinated. I think you're probably more likely to do something really dumb like suicide on a linear or attack a skeleton with your cold damage. Well, I've still got loads of gold left. Mainly because I am one of them. I want this to be over as soon as possible, so I can bid farewell to the giant wolves. Why? They're so cute! Nope, they're terrifying. And they smell. I love how we've got um, cheerful banter here at the same time as... Uh... At the same time as absolute carnage. Um... Alright, you did your job. You can run home, get some health. And take Horro over here. You're getting close to another level, my friend. You guys can still range. Yeah, and you can be ranged by the assassin more critically. So you need to move up one. And these guys are going to move in towards me next turn. And I can start clearing them out some more. First things first. Let's get some experience over here. Um, you're not the best person to attack demons, I guess. Probably try and get a spearman to do that. 12-2, uh, and that's even without getting the leadership bonus. Well, that's just, that's just, you know, gorgeous. So... 21 2 first strike. But it doesn't matter if you miss with all your attacks. Let's try another one. Bardil just kind of floats up and down the flanks. Okay, um, could put a person out in the middle to get the kill. Maybe you, you're wounded anyway, Bogor. Or you. Yeah, you, you're on full health. Um, good, and the green player is down to four units, one of whom is imminently going to be another corpse. Bardil just kind of running up and down enemy lines like a mad. Uh, this guy might be in a bit of trouble though. 19 health. Still, if he dies, it's not the worst thing in the world. I can and I can put an archer. I can put a uh, an assassin there. He's got 70%, 60% defense on flat terrain, so only one person can range. Um, what are you going to do now? 
move into the middle of the lines. Everyone's going to use ranged attacks next turn, so there's no point me boosting the attack. Actually, Bardil, yeah, you, there's no point really you doing anything, is there? Oh, you also boost resistances. I forgot about that. So in that case, you go there. You can go here and get some healing. You'll do full health next turn. And next turn, maybe Bardil, Bardil can actually go and recruit, because Purple's units are coming in too, and I'm going to have to deal with them. Green is just trying to be annoying rather than effective. Oh, don't murder, don't flip in poison horror. I told you he'd do something dumb. Actually, I guess impact damage could be worse. Purple's units are... Oh, wow, yeah, there's quite a lot of them and they're all lining up. Ow! An orange is coming. It's very therapeutic watching the uh, AI move its units. And by therapeutic, I only partially mean boring. I, could, I know I could speed it up also, and I'm sure some viewers would want me to, but uh, if you want the movement to be speeded up, you know, you can always stick me on 1.25 speed or something. And then my voice will be a bit squeakier as well. What are you? Serpent Messenger. Okay, you're kind of weird. You've got a very weak melee blade attack. Um, you've got... You're level 3, you've got a fair number of hit points, you cause terror. Which means lower level units fight worse. Interesting. Okay, well, it's only one of you so far. And my objective now is to. No, you've got physical endurance, so you. Yeah. You regenerate half of all non arcane cold or fire damage. Um, so. Okay. I'm tempted to go in with Aveth and the Slayer, but there's probably better uses for you, such as defeating one of these gunners. Good, you got the kill. Did I just not leave you exposed next time? Okay, nice work, Avethan. Dervin can slow the shapeshifter, I guess. Oh, we've got uh, speedier units coming in from Teal already. Including a mighty Chaos Raider who's got me quaking my boots during the day. So you instantly regenerate actually over half of that damage. Shooting skeletons, not a valid option, really. You're going to be irritating because you can get around the back, so it would be good to get rid of you. And get rid of you with normal skeletons, but only if I don't have better things to do with them. So you come in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this guy. 
Alinea, you need to go home. Recruit some backup. No kill. Oh, damn it. Played that all wrong. Still. You're on 59 experience, which means that the enemy are going to be drawn to you like moths to a flame. Who do we want on the outer rim? Probably a worthless archer. How much damage can you do? Uh, only 27. How about you? Only 26. And if you hit with both attacks. Hmm. Okay, then you come in here. Okay, that was reasonable. So now either of these units ought to be able to get the kill. Um, Irelian seems to be the one who I... Yeah, trust her to hit more wood too, so okay, good, that unit's out of the way. Now, um, it's about protecting Durvan and... Okay. So the leader can't reach Durvan. There's... To three for five units that can, but they can only get dubious angles. So I'm just going to put Anya over in the forest here so that they can't get quite as good an angle. Um, you can do what you like, to be honest. Um, you're going to be more useful if you're here. And that's me. It's annoying that blue and uh, blue and teal and a few purple, uh, sorry, white and teal and a few purple have come to join the party. I'm hoping the leader will kind of come out and do something soon because otherwise, this this black player is more or less a spent force. This guy couldn't decide what to do, but I think he's been spotted trying to run away, and so now he's been summoned back. Uh, and he's the only. Him, two gunners are the only units that this blue leader has under his command at the moment. Alright, let's not hope there's not too many more of those stupid shapeshifters. Right, on this flank, blue has to deal with an incursion of purples. So, um, what's the best way for horror to get healed? Um, now you'll need 20, 30 experience before you'll gain a, an after maximum level advancement. That's misleading. Um, if I want you to recruit Bardil, you have to go home. So let's see what you can do now. And there's other units coming up on this flank, so I'm going to just need to keep defending. You go over here. You try and take out the ghosts. Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate. I can't spare any movement for Bardil to give anyone else leadership. What I can do is take him home and hire more units. Swap out some of the wounded ones. I can't push these girls back into the water. Oh. 
Oh dear. Some bad luck as well. You're probably dead. You go over here. Just don't want to attack the ghost in general. Kill, yes. But now you've got really... Hmm. Uh, the blue, you definitely need to recruit. Uh, I'm going to need a few more orcish archers, I think, or at least um, one or two more. And then to deal with the ghosts and the drones. Yeah, I'll get a few more of you. How about you now? Okay, you can do what you were intended to do, which was to grab that village off of Teal. I'll go all in on these archers. Maybe get a scout so I can have someone help on the right hand flank. You guys are pretty good with your spears. Um, I like Aragwite spearmen, they've proven their worth, so I'll have a few more. One more of you. And then I can afford a grunt and an archer, a spearman, and oh, yeah, another spearman. There we go. Alright should be able to hold here. The orange troops are still a turn away. This annoying protector drone is going to be in, but it will only be able to attack this archer, so I should be able to at least get some fire damage in on it, unless it goes melee. Uh, I'm more worried about these annoying purple, because they're all weak individually, but together maybe they can take out a unit or two, especially this guy. And then get outflanked on my own flank. Okay, that guy takes some pretty heavy punishment. You didn't give your life in vain. Uh, lots of fire attacks on skeletons, of course. Uh, okay, and now the leader of the black troops comes out. Should be able to kill him. That headhunter, is he coming to kill my my one dude who's guarding that house? Looks like it. And uh, white player has very cleverly blocked off the line of retreat for the for the black leader. There's that lovely fire damage I was talking about. The indecisive serpent messenger gets slightly more decisive. So what will happen to you if you immediately go melee? Um, okay, you've not got the best terrain for it. Now, if Anya could daze him, which she can, because she can get in there, that would be cool. Just got to watch out for my units. It's coming up to night time now. 
Yeah, I would lose that fight. The 60% versus 50% is the really deciding factor. So you just come in here. Durvan as epic as ever. Not to be outdone. <laughs> down here. Get some good experience for my long swordsman. Not impressive. Um, still not a fight that I think a veteran would win. Bring another archer in. Okay, we're doing pretty averagely. Averagely, is that a word? You can't get in to do anything else useful. Oh, you can, if you, but only, oh no. Uh, see, there's so many unpleasant units around. Trouble is now if Avethan decides that he's gonna go in for this for the demon warrior. There's no real defense against anyone who might retaliate. I've still got Anya. Could still bring Anya in to zap him from behind and then try. You'd be out of range, you'd be out of range. Still would be risky, I think. Still. Actually, Anya could even get the kill if she's really, really dark jammy. Or she could get so weakened that she herself gets killed by these units that are advancing, and there is one to. to. Only, only, only four that are relevant. Yeah, no. No brainer. <laughs> oh shit, that was unbelievably bad. Um, and that's not good at all. How can I stop you from dying? Um, you in there. Good, and now I need you to deal with this guy. Then I think... Um, what, what order do these guys fight in? If Brown fights before... If Brown can kill this archer, which probably... Which may be... Then this guy could get in and kill Avethan. Oh well. 
no way he should have taken as many hits as that. That was incredibly unlucky. But then again, he didn't die, which he could have also done. So maybe you'll choose an easier target. Maybe you'll go and shoot this skeleton up here. You go and recruit. You come down here, because you're not likely to get blown up anytime soon. I'm going to get more undead. More archers specifically, because you've been you've proven your worth so far. And let's have some big tanky recalls. Like you. And like you. That's enough for now, and I'll leave my income in the positive. Right, blue needs to push back a bit. To get these archers in. Oh, not happy with that. Not happy one bit. You're dead anyway, I think. No point trying to get you healed, so maybe just use you to deal some damage. Or not. There we go, no more poison. Oh we've got a we've got a dog. Gotta keep Bardil in a safe place. Now if you go north you won't be able to give anyone else useful leadership, so you shouldn't go north. You're pretty handy, so you should go and get health. These guys are so much less effective when they don't have Bardil's leadership. Okay, Poisoned Augur is still alive and will do some damage next turn. Ah, oh, Kiara's healing up. I'm getting injured at a rate I can't heal from. <laughs> Why didn't I put you in a leadership position? It wouldn't have made any difference, you didn't hit. Okay. Um, you can go into the woodlands. Is Horror going to die if he comes out to play again? Now there is a dog there, so I'm reluctant. I'll just plonk you there for now. You will die if you go there, but it's probably worth it. To keep you alive. Okay, this was not a great turn for the blue player. Oh, and over here... We've got several people who can challenge my poor wolf rider. Where can I run away to? Well, since the purple have kind of got control of this area of the map... No, I do want you to run back up there. Uh, 
not too big a tactical blunder. I hope maybe you can even come in and help out over here. Okay, not looking forward to this turn too much. Spearman. Okay, purple's backing up a bit. Whew. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Because now... Grunt on grunt, and my grunt comes off the better. that village. That's fine. That's funny. I feel like I ought to have done better in that fight. daytime again soon? No. Not even slightly. It is the sh Oh yeah, okay. Reasonably slightly. It's the short dark, not the long dark. But there's a lot of units heading my way now, so I feel like I ought to retreat. Especially since my backup is a bit wounded. So everyone run, especially you. How fast are you guys? Six, five, five... Maybe I can leave a line here. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Look, doesn't look like that would be the end of the world. Try and deal with this gunner. Well, this demon could still be could still make itself very irritating. This black gunner is the only unit left from the black player now. I've successfully wet them up. I was hoping to check out this ring, but that's not going to happen. Run! And also you run! Run forward! You're doing quite well.
defend my weak units with your lives. You're not really doing anything in this formation, are you? I guess you might. You might block one spot on Crendel. Because I'm now getting mass attacked by the uh, forces of brown, white, teal, and the remnants of black on this flank. So it's not great. Okay. Uh, Kiara is looking in a strong position. She can't fight anything yet, but she should probably get a bit nearer the action next time she heals. You go and heal over here. And as usual, do the old Bardil inspects the troops routine. <laughs> you first. I'm not going to bother fighting the demon. He's just been sitting there for a while. there wasn't a green dog behind my flanks here, that's annoying. Because they can chew up archers like nobody's business. You might die if you do this. Oops. So if you're going to die, you at least ought to, I guess, waste your effort more nobly. Do I need more archers over here? Is this a better place to put archers? Maybe. You're still alive. I said you were going to die, but you didn't. That is a... Stain on my honor. Um, should have recruited more grunts. Weak. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you could get zapped by this loser if this loser isn't dead. And to be honest, I'm not too fussed if you go up there and get distract yourself away from the main, main body of the troops. You're on one health and you're poisoned. No one else can reach. So that'll be cool. Alright, what am I going to do down here? Now, I wanted to get a grunt over here. dog, which I'll do with a weak, inexperienced archer. So now it's not much of a threat to anyone. I should have, ah, I should have put Bardil in there, dang it. Can't undo combat moves. You want to go somewhere where your death is less problematic. Like... And then someone a little bit tankier needs to take this spot. Alright, man down. If anyone's going to go into the forest, it might as well be you. Actually, you... do you want to come down and kill this guy? Or, or just come to the end of the formation and try and attack this guy. Good. You hop back to there. You come down to here. 
you come down to here. Bardil, you come here. Not that the experience was useful there, but you know, do 23 damage to a unit that's on six hit points, sure. And. I guess you're going to come up here and shoot this dude from this spot, which is very annoying, and I might lose him. But I guess you win some, you lose some. You only need two more hit points, so might be good to have you near the battle. Can I even hold here long term? Uh, it's it's worrying, I have to say. There's an awful lot of units spamming this way, especially demons. And orcs are not the best set up for fighting demons. Not that anyone is, they're just a horrible unit to fight. Um yeah, they're not they're not slowing down. <laughs> well, I guess they're slowing down a bit. But I will I will lose units here and I can't really afford to. So you come out here, get ready for the next engagement. All right. Ah, uh. oh, excellent. You blocked that archer from killing my experienced grunt. I think advancement's my only chance at this point. Okay, you didn't do what I thought you would do. You pretty much did do what I thought you would do. of every unit up on this flank. Okay, so you continue to flee. Who wants to kill? I don't think you can make demon corpses, unfortunately. Okay, you can reach, you can't, you can't. You can't, you, you can. What? This is such a brutal scenario. Imagine if I didn't have much gold to recruit with. I mean, it's not like I have a huge amount, but... You go there... You go into the woods...
but it'll be daytime next turn, so I should be able to start striking back. Not that most of my units are lawful, but uh, it does mean that the Chaos units are less of a threat. Should I pull back to the main keep over here? I think I'd just get surrounded if that happened. I mean, I'm, you know, um, that's going to happen anyway, but... It's frustrating that there's so little I can do against this mob of demons over here. I need to redeploy, that's what I need to do. Way to go, horror. Come on, one quick hit. Not even. level if you get a kill. Yeah, you will. That's cool. Which kill do I want the most? I mean, the dog, right? It's got to be the dog. And then you'd be in the woodland too. Yeah, okay. I've hardly got even enough units to just do basic defense with. Especially since, oh, you've now outflanked me in such a way that's really, really irritating. Oh, you're not too bad on the on the, on the on this terrain, though. Just means I have to pull units away from the center. I don't have enough units to hold this line anymore. A lot of drones coming in. You're gonna die. Is Bardil gonna have to fight? Looks like it probably is. Um, again from the forest. First you... Oh no, you just stay where you are. You also just Stay where you are. Uh, you do need to fight. the first fight Bardil's been in an all campaign and he doesn't die there are no dogs around <laughs> this guy's still healing up poor bugger well, it does look like the flow of enemy units is gradually coming to an end uh, should I recruit retreat you or should I just have you die I shouldn't have brought you out uh, you just retreat And then this rather flimsy line will have to hold against this mass of demons. Um, I think, and if they don't, then I'm in real trouble back here. And it uh, doesn't look like they will. Uh, okay, this at least this flank looks relatively secure. It's just the center that, that's looking bad. Probably could have played that a bit better.
Oh, you're healing people, you bastard. And you are close to a level. Those purple units are very weakened. Going for a melee attack, which given that I don't have a healer on that flank, is just irritating. Beware with the melee attacks. At least you will get healed by Alinea. Everyone's just clouting Irelian. It's Irelian is not that far from being an anagram of Ilinia. Just an extra R in it. Okay, that guy's dead. Still not as many casualties as I perhaps expected. Oh, get away from my villagers, you naughty, naughty boy. Stop it! She's not done anything to you. So the blue player is completely in disarray now. Okay, so first things first, oh, I can't reach you. Not even with Kanye. Oh, I'm gonna need to roll it in from this flank here. Anything that can usefully kill this drone. Well, I've got spirits. Um, just got to make sure that I get my tough units away. You got on your it looks like you've got a rocket strap to your back or something or like a giant dildo or something um <clears throat> okay let's get mr experienced captain over here to shepherd some leadership you need to step back useless Marginally less useless. Oh, not another one. Ah, oh, it's always the worst time. You get back, well back, because there's someone sneaking around the arse end of our base. Who? Anya is going to go and deal with, but not this turn. Okay, you're probably dead. Come out with these archers anyway, though. Hold this flank and put a skeleton archer there to make sure she doesn't get backstabbed. Someone's gonna get backstabbed though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 
No one can reach good old Avathan. Not even the backstabber. Um, if you go next to the... Oh, okay. What an irritating unit type, and what an irritating... For this scenario of all scenarios, what a very irritating property. Okay, well, black's been dealt with, at least. Uh, so I'm not super confident of holding up here, uh, and I'm even less confident that I'm going to hold with the blue player. You're going to go there. Yeah, I mean, just look at this mess. I mean, you need... you can't even get a level with a kill. Um, most of most of you guys over here are poisoned. You're very experienced, cannot allow you to kill anything. I guess I should just pull back from the base and defend on the flank where I'm not going to die. You can't get out anyway, so you might as well get that zone of control kill. Oh, come on! Shit, now Kiara is really badly hurt. Uh, Bilg, the experienced archer, is not experienced enough, unfortunately, so you're going to be a suicide onto this drone. I mean, I guess you should just do this. Figures. A level for you, I'll make you a knight. Oh, you can move! Yes, of course, you've got your special ability. Um, I don't want to attack again, so I'm going to send you back to heal. Would rather Horo didn't get poisoned, but... Everyone here is so, so... Ah, no, no. Everyone here is so, so useless against... Well, yeah, maybe you're not useless. Maybe you're not useless. Yep, useless. Shame you're not going to probably survive. <coughs> Good kill for Bardil. Uh, it's a shame you've got so little experience. Um, if you could kill this Val Demon, you'd be in a very strong position. Maybe in future. This thing is really tough. It's not very strong, but it's really tough. I think I'm going to be more more effective if I kill off some... Or try to kill off some demons. Should have done this before be throwing you away. Is it worth it? I'm 
Should I instead go here? Oh, you're so strong in the forests, though. Doesn't seem remotely worth it to attack you with anyone. Out here, you should be able to kill pretty much anything. No one's coming through here. So you just sit there and... Well, maybe you should co come here and... Yeah. Oh, that was worth doing. You're in trouble, though. Good thing it's the daytime. Still don't know how long I can hold out up here. You're dead. Ah. Oh well. Rip skeleton. Three hits as well. You don't like it? You're gonna get that house, aren't you? Yeah, bastard. Cow noise. Even started to worry about the demolition barrels yet. I guess I could use them to clear out some of these bundles of units. Seems like bad strategy. <laughs> Caught more reinforcements. We can't afford to lose control of this region to these wretches. No way. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely smashed over here. Not literally in the alcoholic sense, um, or literally in the physical sense, but in the game sense. And of course, more reinforcements. Yes, that's that's the answer. You need one more experience for a level. Okay, Durvan. Well, you showed that guy what's what. Now I've got to make sure that I don't get too badly damaged on this flank. You could come out and attack this guy. Need to figure out how to deal with the demon shapeshifter. Well, you will take full damage from fire. Okay, Irelian gets the kill, gets closer to another level. You 
come over here. I don't think you can be killed, but... Uh... Right, so you, or you, you stay where you are still, and you go and get this. You're too slow, you're too slow, you're not too slow. Um, so you'll come and try and do more impact damage to my archers next turn. If you can kill this Zephyr, you'll get a level. It's not likely, but maybe I can set it up. Oh, now it's looking more likely. There we go. And now, Revenant or Deathblade? The eternal question. Revenant. More leveling prospects. You come here and slow the Rayblade. Just got it. Don't have anyone else who can slow. Would like to be able to grab this village. Don't think anyone's fast enough for that though. Missed with nine attacks in a row on 50%. Well, that's where's Moth. <clears throat> and now, since your leadership was clearly so completely uninspiring, um, <laughs> maybe I should go and I should have you fight on the front lines, but uh, that doesn't seem wise. So I'll keep you back and let you try again. Okay, a bit worried about my shide. You stay where you are, or maybe not. Get a bit closer to the action, you'll still get 8 experience. Okay, I'm not feeling quite as dismal about this turn as I did previously. First of all, I want to try and level you. If you can get just one hit on this demon, you will be a crossbowman, and that makes the task much more exciting. You can effortlessly come around here and do very tiny amounts of damage to this Val Demon. And you're a crossbowman as well. Now this flank which was looking good is now looking rather bad. Don't want to lose you, so okay. You're now on one health. You could come out and snag it, but are you going to stay here, or should I send you back? I'm going to send you back. Level 2 unit, too valuable. Of course you would hit with the poison attack. You go back and get some health.
Oh, Bardil took some damage. That's a new one. You just stand there. I can't believe this guy's still alive. Such an irritating unit. On one health the whole time. Poisoned. There's not much I can do. Alright, that's one dead demon. That's one very much alive demon. I've got some gold left with this squad now, so if Bardil can avoid getting dis getting surrounded, then he can head back to base next turn. Should be. I've got some level two units now. It would have been this would have been a lot easier if I'd got decent units for blue. But I'm going to lose this flank. I'm going to badly lose this flank. Might even lose this guy. And don't, yeah, okay, yeah, you have got almost full, full of 40, 50 gold. At least I took out one leader before this happened. I think everyone got 50 gold. Okay, please no more reinforcements after this. The Serpent Messenger is heading my way. It doesn't have much backup, fortunately. Ah, oh, but it will do when these other troops get there. Mel. These, these, these guys down here are really doing so much the opposite of covering themselves in glory, it's untrue. Um, how far are you away? Too far away to be useful. Good. Um, gonna fairy fire you with a linear. So you're out of the game. Anyone who goes here is going to be in trouble. Now, what I've got to not forget about you is that you've got an absolutely mean-ass ranged attack as well, which you can use. You were originally an archer after all. Okay. Gonna use Mr. Leadership for some ba -ba -da -ba leadership. So you come in around here. Ah, uh, it really slowed you down. What 
if I do it this way, no, it's not going to help. Not really. Maybe you should just go in and fight. Yeah. Horse noises, cow noises. Okay, that's almost put paid to you. Um, Alright, so you're going to get bladed by this serpent messenger, Ivan Day, who during the day is not super effective. Could kill you. And if I'm lucky and you do blade damage. Okay, clearly using archers against these guys is not the answer. But whoever it attacks, it will probably die. Let's just come down here and do this. And pick that ring up. I love how those items, they're not really sort of narratively motivated, but I think actually, you know, I remember reading somewhere from the campaign designer that she dislikes random items. Um, so it could just be, you know, the, this is kind of lampshade hanging on how stupid it is that there are just items lying around. All these fights are winnable. Uh, who I don't need you to be? You can be there. And you can be there. Very nice. And then you, I think, are in a good position. Ah, oh, it's a shame I couldn't bring you somewhere more helpful. And don't forget the barrels, everyone. Okay, what can I achieve with blue? Is there anyone who needs a level? You, if you can get a level 2 kill, you would get a level. But the only level 2 people are around are these obnoxious Valdemon bashers. Bardil should retreat. This guy will be lost if I don't take him out. So I'll just put you here. You shoot the Val Demon. Ah. Um. Now I really don't have enough to to defend. Okay, that joy will be short-lived, but uh, it's joy nonetheless. Yeah, everyone and their grandmother's going to go for this guy now. Such, unfortunately, is the way. Um... You're going to die. I was going to say, maybe you can make it non-pointless, but it looks like you can't. And you just hop onto this house. Can you get to safety? Can you get to safety? What is safety in these dark times? And I can't recruit much. I mean, a couple of orcish grunts. And, I th and an orcish archer. Or another orcish grunt. Probably the grunt's more useful now. Um, no, I still, I've still got drones to defeat. Quite a lot of drones. Both Horror and Kiara are in trouble. 
to different degrees. So I'll move you over here so you don't get killed. Just up here. And you can jump over here. It does leave these guys room to, to A, get to Bardil and B, get some of my villages, but I think there's nothing much that can be done about that. This line at least should hold at least to an extent. Ah, just more reinforcements, really? I think just the, the sheer number of forces that have come up Bardil is just terrifying. And how long am I into this game now? Like two hours or something already? Crazy. <laughs> and purple, all of purple's forces are now heading for blue. If someone can poison, they will always poison. The other rule of Bleznoff. And the three drones going up on that crossbowman, he goes down. start using the explosive suicide strategy. At least red turns still moderately fun. Un not a sort of constant horrible, horrible terror like uh, blues. Even though there's a terror monster here, but it is weak and slow. And I can easily mop all this stuff up with what I've got up here. Right, you make lower level units fight worse, but this level 3 is not lower level. Another person who's not lower level is Irulian. You can do, in principle, 34 damage here. In practice, only half that, but that's okay. Um, someone can get a level 2 kill here. I think it'd be best if it would be you, and then you can level up. Or maybe you can... Okay, gotta defend you now. And you're now one of these beautiful swordsmaster units that Torankin also is. You're also not slower. Good, good, that's lots of experience for you. Color in the end, good. Three hits, please. Nope. How about one hit? No, that's not quite as useful, is it? <clears throat> okay. Right. Get people into position to get some health.
You go down and check that, check this ring out. This shiny silver ring has some runes engraved on it. I can barely make them out. You who take this ring will be swifter and more graceful, no matter what weight you carry on your back. Healing is going to be very useful to us in the near future. Sadly, only living humans could possibly make use of this ring, and our fairy supporters as well, I suppose. Wait, do those pesky bats count as living creatures? I don't even know. Yes, yes they do, Elenia. Um, but the skeleton can't have it. Okay, so this is going to make you faster. Um, who wants that? Might be good for you to have it, because then you'll be a beast. Uh, and you're already loyal. And if we get dungeon crawl scenarios, that'll be fantastic. First of all, you go there. Oh no. You go there. What's happened to you? You've been stunned. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Anya, head down here. Oh, you can come out. Oh, and, and I need to make sure people go back and pick up those barrels. I've only got four on this side, so I really can't afford to lose General Bardil. I mean, I can't afford to lose him anyway, because if any of three of his units die, I die. Um, and I'm, you know, and that's gonna, something like that is gonna happen. So, okay, Alinea's going to have to maybe go back and recruit some more units, or I'll have to send my fast units back for the barrels. Or my slow units back for the barrels. Okay. Um, you're, you still need a level 2 kill to level, not a level 1 kill. I don't know why I thought that would have changed. <laughs> it's not as if there are more units. Um, this flank has completely collapsed. This battle line is barely standing. There are demons in my bum hole. You're here. Okay, you go grab a barrel. And get ready. Nice work, General Bardil. You may be a bastard, but um, you can do that. Alright. Haven't used this defensive position yet. Gotta get rid of this guy. Experience for Horro, who's now one level one kill off a level. That is going to save his life, probably. You come round here. You are now fodder. You come up here. You stay where you are for now, or maybe you come back and get some health as well. Try and use all my villages to their full effect at the moment. It's not going to be any use if, if I die, but then again, if I die, I'm dead. Not making much sense today. Alright, you can hopefully suicide into somewhere over here into this clump of crazy people. Give me some breathing space at least. This guy it might even get up to full health if he keeps sitting around. I mean, he, he, he would have done if he'd played this a bit smarter, but unfortunately he keeps hopping back to his keep to recruit one unit at a time. Still too many drones over here, especially level... I mean, no, no, that's level one. This is a level two drone. I don't want level two drones in my base. I don't want this guy in my base, even though he's rubbish. I don't want him.
Okay. Kill! Oh, Alright, Horror gets the level. Is that thing? So much for the Val Demon. Shouldn't be looking over there, I should be focusing on red. Red is my priority right now. Normally I'd use Anya to grab the house, but it's there's some very tempting food for her over here. Good stuff. All right, and now... Okay, you're close to a level. Took a lot of damage there. That's a shame. Now Alinea, go home and recruit some more units. Or maybe just come here and recruit recruit more footpads and they can run back. What would be faster? I think actually you going home would be the fastest. You can get there in two turns. Can I lure this guy out of his house? Not with you, you're not fast enough. Next turn. Gotta worry about a war drone too. Okay. One extra movement point and increased defense on all terrains. Okay, that's going to be very handy. Whoa! I feel fast! 65%. It's weird seeing 5% increments of defense. You don't normally see that. Okay, we've got a Razorbird coming in. We've also got this flipping Imp of Doom. Just gotta worry about these 
irritating swarms, all of which are fast enough to reach this spot. I do have enough money for another grunt. I've also got you. It destroyed the defense tile, that's interesting. So I'm going to lose my defensive position. Can I get more than three units? Is there any position where I can get more than three units? No, unfortunately, my defensive placement's a bit too good for that. Why am I even attacking you? I've already said I'm going to use the thing. There are more barrels. There's another barrel there, and there's one somewhere over here. Is there...? Yeah, there, there, there it is. really want to use a demolition shot to just kill three guys who are level one. Everyone here is level one other than the, um, the Val Demon. Uh, I feel like it's worth it, but maybe I don't know if he can actually get himself killed. That will be what's crucial. But they'll kill him if he goes there. And they may even move in to be more efficient at killing him if he goes there. Okay, just hop backwards. Alright, you're on one health. That looks good. I mean, it looks really bad, but... Uh, my defensive line is going to be in tatters after I do this, so I need to draw back. Actually, you stay there, you, you go back here. Um, someone is going to come and kill you, aren't they? is going to be a bit in trouble. I mean, these units are all very weak. If he stays on the house, he should be okay. Uh, there it goes! Straight in. Yeah, to kill that grunt. Oh! 
Not poison, no. Hoping that guy would make it. a good defensive spot. Um, should I go in here first though, or rather... Over here to fight the Law Keeper, because I'm worried that they're going to summon more reinforcements. Um, and then even, if Blue can survive another turn or two, I can send people up that way. I'm halfway through the campaign. Well, halfway through this level. Alright. You are very unlikely to get that kill, aren't you? Anyone else flying over here? No, it doesn't look like it. No, good. Man, such accuracy, wow. Okay. That'll do. Who's next to grab a barrel and to uh, go for the suicide?
If these units are all experienced, I actually would rather they didn't suicide onto barrels. Still, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I mean, you're an obvious choice. Wish you were faster, you'd be more likely to survive. Either way, you're going to get shot to death next turn. Still. Maybe not. Bad times, bad times for blue. Rip this guy, probably rip some more of these guys too. Actually, if you stand there and you die, <laughs> Bardil's gonna go down as well. So let's just you step one away, that'll give me one less way of accidentally losing the scenario in a comedy way. So far so good. No. Don't look like you're keen to do the responsible thing and put yourself in positions. now is to kill the purple leader. There's going to be a couple of nasty units coming my way when I do that. And actually, I'm not quite fast enough. Maybe if you go in, if you get the kill, you'll get an after maximum level. There we go. No more purple leader. Unfortunately, purple's troops are still around. That's quite a lot of them. Maybe I can end that next time with a with a bomb. But it also looks like I can't get people in, into a very good position to, to fight with this with this bomb. And I'll destroy Bardil's keep if I destroy if I die in the wrong place. And well, I don't really want to do that. What is this? Ixthala Fire Dancer. There are Ixthala demons in the... It's level 3! Ah! Oh! Okay, well that thing is going to be my first target with this uh, with this bomb archer. But I'm not on that turn yet. I need to keep remembering where I am and what the priorities are. So I'm going to trigger the Serpent Messenger. Rather the Serpent Messenger didn't come out and uh, aggro and get and kill Avathan, at least not immediately, so... What happens if you stand there? You can still attack Avathan. Alright, so then I have to put you here. Uh, 
and Anya can go and deal with this imp. Down it goes. Gotta watch out for the energy ray on these guys. They're best fought with skeletons, I think, the side crawlers. But these guys are not best fought with skeletons, so it's something of a quandary. Mm. How resistant are you to cold? Not at all resistant. I guess that figures. You are just a human. Oh. Yeah. Durban is tough. Is he tough enough? Well, I guess he'd better be. Maybe they'll find an easier. They'll probably find an easier target anyway. You come around here. If the serpent messenger wants to attack you, we know that from past experience that that doesn't end too badly. And I'm going to need uh, units up here. Scramble all forces to defeat these guys who are both going to come out next turn. Probably each obliterate a skeleton. Well, you won't because you've got blade. But you will. I just hope you. Ah, oh, worst case scenario, you come out here, blast this guy to smithereens, then you can get into Avathan. Red. Yep, that's red. Blue. Well, I think what will happen here. So, first of all, you try and do this. And, and, wow, fail really miserably. Um. You come down here, try and shoot this guy down. Actually, then you'll level up. That's not brilliant. But then everyone will, then everyone will gather around and attack you. Oh, that could be awesome. Okay, let's do this. All right, now when you do die, you're going to go with a big bada boom. Okay, this, this drone is unhittable, apparently. No way! Okay, everyone is missing, like, the miserable, miserable, missing maniacs. Yeah, this guy is, is the king of the hill. All right. Well, if I can't get to the to the camp, then I guess Bardil better go and get some health. Oh, 
Hopefully you'll be dead by that point. And you come back here. Actually you... Just grab a barrel. And then retreat onto this village. Go for my level one units. No, stop it! You're supposed to attack the flipping crossbowmen. Kiara's getting slaughtered. All the footpaths. Um, okay. <sighs> You're gonna be hard to kill because I can't get around. How good are you? About equally good? I want to weaken it before sending you in to do that. My problem here is that I, it's the angle. I can't get the angle. And if you get anywhere near this guy, he's going to attack the hell out of you. That nasty drain attack again. Okay, well, let's try and deal with these guys down here first. You can, you'll need to be there to slow. Uh, maybe next turn you can get there anyway if you sit here.
you can reach. This is this is mis this is one of my dudes with the bomb, so we've got to be careful there. What happens if you go here? Um, you could take some damage. You could get drained by the serpent messenger. Here is a good spot though. I don't have quite enough archers to block off all of the angles I'd like to be able to block off. No, because you're gonna... I don't think this guy ought to be able to kill you in one, though. Maybe if you get very unlucky. Because then if you blow, you'll kill Durvan, too. Well, you can come down here, because you're useless up there. Got some experience, so you'll probably lure this guy out, or maybe he will attack Anya. And you can go here, you can go there. I uh, wish I'd use the leadership before moving, but never mind. gold again and uh, Linia's actually doing pretty well for gold so she could hop down here and get some more troops if I don't oh dear oh dear one thing I didn't anticipate is that these guys are not zone of controlled so they could come and kill Anya next turn and that they will probably try and do now uh, maybe they won't be able to succeed Okay, how much do you need in order to be able to level out of the pickle that you're in? You can, if you don't move before fighting, you can escape. So I think I should try and get that to work. I mean, I don't know where this is going. There's not that many of these guys. One one good bomb could do it, so maybe they'll just gang up on this guy next turn. I hope so. Kiara needs needs a level two kill, and there's no one around who fulfills the requirements. Maybe you could come out and can I push this back? And oh, no, not with that dog there. Oh, you've got sixty percent defense on this terrain, which is pretty decent. I'll do what I can. And there's ever more units plundering this, sort of powering up this way, including a dog. But these are the only three that have to survive. 
and hopefully they're all safe for now. You guys are keen on killing the skeletons, then. Uh. Okay, daytime. Look, I was hoping you weren't going to get that kill so that I could help Krendel get it, but Krendel's a moron, so doesn't deserve it. Alright, who gets the war drone kill? Hopefully you. But first... I'm not quite tanky enough to, to get it in one hit. Or to get it at all. Sigh. There we go. Drone down. get that recruitment back up. What do I want? I want people who are going to be fast enough to go out and help Blue, because I'll lose if Blue loses. Um, but that's probably not going to happen, so maybe four ghosts? Or oh, two ghosts and two sprites. Units that can deal damage at this point are more useful to me than units who can survive. What about any recalls? Do I want to get a wraith? Yeah, let's get a wraith. Income's not going to worry me too much in the remainder of this scenario. And the boom squad can get into position to do some booming. It's a shame you can't get to the druid. You just stay where you are. Okay, it's a beautiful day for blue. And uh, now, 
Uh, let's try and capitalize on that, I guess. It's a shame you can't run away. And you two, you've all got good angles on poor old Chiara. This is going to be a loss, although a relatively close one. Maybe I can just park you in front of Chiara in the open and then see what people do. I'll do that. Wish I could get you out of there. But it seems, Vernar, that your time is up. Can't even kill this assassin, which I wouldn't, you know, which, which you shouldn't really be able to do mathematically, but... Well, they can't quite surround you as they should, hopefully, as I should ideally be able to. So I'm going to back up Horror into this corner as well. Okay, now the, the play should be obvious. Just a question of how many enemy units I can take down with me, and... Actually, the answer is not very many, because they're going to attack... Ah, they're going to attack him first. Okay. <laughs> oh, nuts. Well, at least there's a level 2 there that Kiara can kill and level. No one's interested in fighting my warrior. Ah, it's a dog. <laughs> Still flooding me with teal units from the citadel itself. Hmm. Sometime I'm going to have to aggro this Armageddon imp. And this guy. So many defensive units. Subpar performance from Anya. Whoa, I didn't expect that. It won't avail you. But, you know, we'll take it. If you could get two hits, you would level. But then if, you know, if, if you're the one who gets a... who, who aggroes the Armageddon Nymph, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You'll just die. I've not got enough easy spam units that I can afford to lose. You're going to go and do that, probably. You I can afford to lose, so you stand in this gateway. And you're tough enough to hold here. Get the boom squad into position. And we got you onto a house. You just sit. Send you up, although it really is too little too late at this point.
Okay, so probably green will kill. Green will kill you, which is a shame, because that would be annoying. Because, because hope. I mean, if you miss with two hits, oh, well, you only do three damage. So maybe, maybe. There's one barrel up here. Is that one that I actually need? Because I've only got four guys here. No, I don't need it. I could use the two that are in the village, but uh, I've probably not got the turns for that. I can't believe I wasted like three hours of my life on this nonsense. Oh, it's 12.30am on a Sunday as well. <clears throat> so, okay. No action at all from Blue this turn. Can't make those kills count, that's my problem. I don't mind purple getting those villages, purple's dead. Okay, Teal keeps spamming units out. There's a lot of drones here that I can't attack very effectively. You can fly over the chasm, you're just about the only person who can. chain get everyone out of the way so that Rogar can do his thing. As usual, Wesnoth optimism does not pay off. I was hoping I'd be able to do something more effective than that with you. Okay, you can fly around. Take max damage and be in position of... Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, you're a drow at least. Anyone else get over the gap? You can. which is an annoyingly large amount of health. You can fly around. Can't get the kill though. Someone who can come down here and do four damage. Well, ideally not a foot pad because I need to put a linear there. This fodder revenant. Uh, 
Okay, and now it's Zok is disrupt disrupted, so I can get this other uh, futile sat sprite in. Right, which of you are the fastest? Because one of you... None of you are in range of the Armageddon name. Oh, we will come out, so someone could stand here. You're all speedy, other than this. Yeah, you're all speedy. Four quick footpads. What are the odds of that? Almost makes me think I should have done better in this level. Can't reach this guy. Why is this guy so weakened? I've really got no idea. Well, I've got no idea why this thing is still producing. Okay, blue team, it really is just the leader and the leader's squad mates, so I guess I'll pack you into the corner. Lol. <laughs> There aren't that many units here. Well, I could, I could possibly potentially make it, um, especially with you regaining health so quickly. Um, you only need a level one kill. Uh, let two units attack you. Let's see. I don't want you to attack him though. That would be the thing that I'd really rather you didn't do. So he's weaker. Well, he's not weaker, but he's he's less likely to level himself out of the mess. Oh. Irritating. And the dog is very close. It's all on fear at this point. No, not my fodder revenant. You're not quite fast enough, are you? Ah, oh, dang. You would be if I can clear out these obstacles. Champion down here. so many units left around here, I didn't worry quite so much about my units surviving, just mainly the, the main concern is the Armageddon Imp. I don't really have the right unit types to deal with an Armageddon Imp. If you hop out... Deploy charge. Ok, 
Okay, you can't now move, you can just do this. That was a pretty poor piece of marksmaning. If I could just clear this dude out, you would have a good path as well, this turn. It's tricky, because I could use you either to fight the Armageddon Imp, or... Well, I can try and use Anya to... Ah, but if he, th if he then sits... No, it should still be doable. If you stand there or there, you will blow up Anya and Alinea. So, let's think of an alternative strategy. First things first, though, we need to get rid of these guys. Can you? How are you good? How good are you against this guy? Pretty good if you can get the hits in, and you can also tank damage from this guy. So, not bad. You finish the job. Pog, as they say. And now Durvin can come here. You are zocked. You come down here and block. Um, who wants some health? You probably want some health. You want some health. You guys, you just step behind here. Can actually bring you right the way in because the only thing you need to worry about is this one imp and this guy so that square's safe at the moment other than from the imp and I can make it safe from the imp by putting this ghost on the other side of it This is looking promising, but I still need to... Uh, also, I think these these matrix flow systems... Oh no, they don't, they don't actually block your... Can I get into that corner? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, just got to not get killed by the dog. Such a beast, Kiara. Okay, people coming in. Yeah, you go there. You stand there. That's the perfect place to stand. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yes! <laughs> Fire in the hole! Okay, one structure down. This guy's annoying, he's going and grabbing all my villagers. No one can quite reach. There we go. Two more charges deployed. You're on full health, you bastard. Do need to get this, and there's two leaders in range of that. Uh, first you get the slow. Um, actually, who's going to go killing what? experience anymore. You could use it. Maybe you're best used elsewhere. Ooh! And you get a level. An extra chill strike, arcane resistance plus 10%. Or more hit points and melee strikes. Actually, I think more hit points and melee strengths will be strong for you. Quite literally, because you're not the tankiest of my heroes. Got to not go here. Not go here. These guys, unfortunately, are done for. Wow, again, marksman fun. Ah, 
Yes, that's right, you scream. Excellent. Keep you safe. Am I going to try and push around this way? Yeah, I probably should. And not really doing what it should. Bardil with his protection ability is doing some work here. Fantastic. Three structures remaining. I've only got one bomber left. Gonna have to lure her out. And at night, that's not a very appealing prospect. Fire and cold. Has anyone got good resistance to both? Mm, well, I mean, Delinea, you've got good resistance in the sense that you have a ton of health. You can't reach this turn. You can't reach the fight.
Okay, the northern squad seems to be doing okay. You can't reach this little bugger. Um, Elenia, you go into the forest. And hopefully lure out this leader. And then in the meantime... Can anyone lure you out? Gonna need that barrel too, so this is not gonna be easy. Droned at least. And you can hop in to provide support. You stay where you are and get some health. You. I'm going to need you to be a bomber, I think. So again, you just sit tight behind these guys. Three structures remaining. Good. Okay, this is looking possible, if not lovely. There's now one, two, three, four, five level one units floating around here, and a level two. God for lack of accuracy. And you. And you. Whoa. Teal spawned some things. Oh, they cut off Teal's gold supply. Alright, well I'm not going down here just yet. I'll have to clear out what's up here first. Don't like you, really don't like you. Could kill Rogar. Be cautious, and I can do this. Full, it's almost full daytime, so 
so it's getting safer to approach. Actually, Elenia's got a ton of gold again. Could start putting that to good use. No, that was never going to work. That was silly. Sorry, Pygwanic. This guy is both strong and weak, his Schrodinger's imp. I hate when people abuse the Schrodinger thing. I apologise profusely. Okay, you just sit here, get some health, and stay out of range of the nasty people. I've got six turns left. Oh man, I don't think I'm going to make it. And you come down here. You're the nastiest melee unit around, so you need to go. And when I say melee, I mean ranged. Okay, I'm actually pushing these guys back, that's something, but I'm not going to be able to do anything more. Supposed to be Kiara. Two structures remaining. dead. You can go to the house. Uh, you can't get attacked by her though. 
So you're safe if you're around there. Need to go grab that, which means luring out this Armageddon Imp. Probably killing this other leader in the next five turns available to me. Perfect. Or I guess I could put Anya there. Okay, this is quite exciting at this point, I have to admit, and it would be a shame if I lost. So many nasty imps around. Ugh. Oh. Boy. Oh. Right. Two. Two structures remaining. Dog down. Demon down. Alright, this is looking a lot better. Poisoning a linear. Well, oh, that's just mean. <laughs> Run away. More teal units popping up. And the imp doesn't show any signs of coming out of his heart. Now if I send anyone down here that the storm tide can kill, she will kill it. Alright, first things first. You grab that barrel. This isn't looking brilliant. Um, can I now kill you with this lady? Not kill. Too many enemies. Ugh. Oh, no. 
Okay, you have a shadow. <clears throat> oh no! Not oh, now! Not here! No! <laughs> Oh no, you can you can like you can backstab the the shide. And even during the day that could be quite nasty. At least you're not too powerful, especially not when you're slowed. Still there's a lot of guys here. Got the unit and the unit mass. I could have I could have recruited a bunch of units while I was here. Well, I didn't. That hurt. down. Okay. Oh. I hereby claim this keep. Keen to kill the ghost. Very keen to kill this ghost. Ah. to be babysitting these guys. And you're gonna resist half that damage anyway.
This squad also is very badly equipped to take out an Armageddon Imp. Can I just zone of control it and go around it? Maybe. of the objectives here. I've also got to secure the portal located in the central keep. Don't know how I do that. Looks like there's only two enemy leaders left. One of them's this guy. This guy. Oh no, three enemy leaders. Okay, these guys are, however valuable they are, are going to be running interference because there's a strong chance I could lose this campaign. Okay, you're going to die. You are no use at all. And oh no, you've aggroed this guy. This is not going to end well. You want to grab the remaining barrel and then just leg it towards the keep? Can you get there? No, you'd be too slow, even at your speed. Okay, you get the kill. You go and grab another village. And now you've got a ton of income, so get some scouts, because they're fast. Okay. What are you going to do? Could easily have missed that. For no obvious reason, Anya cannot pick up the barrel of explosives, and that means I lose. Can anyone else get no? You're zone of control. Let's try and kill you so you're not zone of control anymore. All these units over here will die anyway.
and not even you are actually going to be fast enough for this when enemy troops start popping out. Taking a keep. Another one? What did you... <sighs> you just stand there for now. Any of you guys quick? You're quick. Alright, you can grab this. The village. Remember me? I mean, I've lost the scenario anyway, so... Can you pick up a thing? No. <laughs> You're incorporeal. Okay, yeah, I've definitely lost. Uh, and you'll probably get zapped by the lady anyway. <laughs> These guys aren't fast enough to help out with that. Dead. You go over here. You make a run for it over in this direction. You're really fast. You go on a village, as long as you don't die, next turn you'll be able to. Does it say in the objectives? Nope, doesn't say anywhere that uh, 
Anya can't carry the, uh, the barrel. Doesn't make any sense either. was a pretty good mullering. Another barrel, just not enough turns to bring. It. Oh dear! Do need to kill this guy though. So now, when I lose through the death of Anya, um, of Kiara, it is entirely possible. In fact, quite likely. I need needs three hits. And actually, is she weak to blade? No. Okay. Well, we'll see. Oh, hello. Oh, I go for easier prey. When my wraith gets zapped to oblivion. My ghost survives, okay. Down goes my champion. No! Oh, I didn't. Ah, uh, flipping backstab. Okay. 
beautiful. Oh no, not beautiful. Spot you guys. Eat that, bastard. Okay, blue player gets a go. Slow over here, you've got the bomb. I needed you, ghosts. I don't even get a cool message telling me about how I was so close, but there were waves of reinforcements overwhelming me or anything. Nope, it just ends. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, complete waste of approximately four hours as much as I have. Thank you for watching.